if you are someone who likes to run emacs as your window manager there's a package in Malpa which is called exwm you can use that to run emacs as your primary window manager if you want to so i'm just going to open up my init file like my configuration file in .emacs.d and for me it's my init.org you may have like some other name like init.el or something else so you open that up uh, and in the bottom i have added these two packages d menu and the xwm so that's control x plus for increasing the font size so what i'm doing is i'm using d menu for a launcher so use package d menu ensure t to make sure it's installed and i'm specifying a key binding to launch d menu so usually what you do is you can do alt text and uh, d menu so that will open up d menu for you and by the way this is called iv post frame this package is called iv post frame to make you view the things in the middle of the screen rather than in the bottom if you want you can use that so that is like key binding for d menu so if i do a control c d d for my case you can see this is having some launch over here so this is called d menu inside emacs then um i have added actually this package use package axwm so this is called emacs x window manager making sure it's installed and we have specifying the configuration to use exwm default configuration so require exwm config so we are using the default configuration and uh, because i'm on a virtual machine it was a bit yanky so i had to set my resolution on my own so require exwm render for uh, specifying the screen resolution and uh, i'm enabling the exwm render then i need to launch a shell process command like i need to put a command in terminal that's all so i'm using this start process shell command and the command is going to be xrander and i'm going to use xrander s 1920 by 1080 so that's my default resolution and i've enabled exwm system tray so you can see i have this system tray over here that's pretty much i need to do about my configuration file for this and the next thing i need to do is control x control f ah. command attempted to use mini buffer while in mini buffer okay so i'm still in d menu control g control x control f so i need to go back to slash user and share and they have this file called x session like a directory called x session inside this i um, speci have specified a new file called emacs.desktop you can see the file name dot emacs.desktop so you can create that with your favorite text editor and rolex plus so this is what i have entered inside this so desktop entry type this application name is exwm and i just gave the execute command execute emacs so what this does is this will add uh, emacs to your login manager so that's that so control x k to kill this buffer control x1 to switch to one so that's what we need to do for our exwm so we need to have iv post frame for like things like this you can add that so if you just google iv post frame you can i think you can get this default configuration so what i've done is require iv post frame and i've added this set queue iv post frame display where i need my post frame to be displayed that's all 
then I'm using this package called keycast to display my key bindings which I'm using like if I type something it's going to give me that so you can grab this from the max wiki so that's the same thing I'm using this is the default configuration and that's pretty much it so if you have something like uh, X profile or something and added your PyCom for compositing for example if I do term mode in dash I'm just going to launch PyCom so PyCom dash F to get the effect control X K ah I need to exit this so control X K to kill that so apart from this control x control f and need dot el that this file i have specified a custom function for uh, transparency you can see that over here so control x plus so what this does is this function will toggle my emacs transparency whenever i use this key binding control c and t so if i open up something like uh, Control C D D and if I open up something like nitrogen and if I set a wallpaper like this it's not going to be displayed because uh, we don't have uh, compositing done right now so it's not Emacs is not transparent currently so this makes my Emacs transparent so for getting this all I need to do was uh, control X control F dot init dot L so inside my init file what I wanted to do was like define this function define like I specified a toggle transparency function interactive mode and I've specified the key binding for that so that's what I've done so if I hit uh, like uh, control C and T my transparency is disabled so if I hit control C and T again you can see how this transparency so that's pretty much it about EXWM's configuration control X K to kill this buffer yes and if you need to open up something you can do control c d d to open up something like firefox so it will take some time for firefox so there you have it you have your browser inside emacs so if you want to kill that control x k and if you want to open up something else just open up d menu control c d d and open up something like uh, nautilus your file browser Control X K to kill this. Control X K to kill that again. Yes. Then, if you want to do a split, which similar to Emacs, like normal Emacs, Control X one two three. So if you do like that, it's going to split any way you want. Control X one to go back to one view. And if you need to do something like move from different workspace you have options for uh, like you have so many workspace available by default so by default you are on zero workspace so super and zero is your zero workspace if you hit super and one that is your windows key and one you move to another workspace not to like you can have multiple application running in multiple workspaces that's really up to you so apart from having emacs key bindings everywhere there are a few shortcomings for this it's like if your emacs fails you may lose all your unsaved process because this meanwhile this is single threaded so if emacs breaks or something happens all your unsaved work is gone and the second thing is if you open up something like control c d d and if i open up something like st like my terminal and if i'm running like uh, ping 
something dot com imagine i'm having network issues so if i'm doing something like uh, continuous ping for something and if i need to break out of that with control c it's not going to work out because every time i hit control c it's going to pop this one so you may need to add something in your configuration to avoid that that's really up to you i hope uh, this one was helpful i hope you all have a wonderful day